All right, here we are, ready to go on MSC Seashore out of Port Canaveral. But there's a problem, we gotta wait. So we were all nice and ready to be here early for nothing. So what happens is when you get to the port, even though on the website it says that they open at 10 a.m., the self-parking here at the port is not. So we have to wait here, as you can see, they're not open yet. We're like basically the first in line. And behind us, I'm gonna try to do this here. There's like a million cars back there. So this parking lot does not open till 11. So those people who are making plans to be here earlier than that, to park there, take your time, it's not gonna happen. Now we're traveling with family, so we drop them off at the guest drop off. And that's fine, that's open. You just drop people off there, but they gotta wait. If you're parking in this garage, you're gonna have to wait some time until 11 o'clock. So you get here before 11, you're gonna make a really long line. So I would suggest next time uh, for myself, I'm probably just gonna come past 11 or just uh, maybe, I don't know, go back to the Port of Miami because uh, Port of Miami doesn't park whenever you just show up. Maybe because I have more parking there. But anyway, that's what's going so far. But pretty soon we'll be on the ship and we'll see everybody. What do you think? You approve? Yes, sir. This message is approved by my co-pilot. All right, team, no. we'll see you guys inside. No, you're the co-pilot. Oh, I am the co-pilot, that's right. He's the captain because he's driving. All right, my bad. So we'll see you guys inside. All right, so we are walking through the terminal to get on there. Almost there. So traveling my mother-in-law right there in a wheelchair, so we get wheelchair assistance and that makes it like priority boarding. So we bypassed all those people there. We're good on the ship almost. We got on the ship in literally like less than 10 minutes after we passed security. The fastest ever, ever. Hi there. Good morning, thank you. All right, now we're going to the elevators. All right. We got here, the bar's open. But the buffet is not, not yet. They open at 12. So as soon as they open up at 12, then we can start getting ready, heading down to some food. Some of it is opening. But not right now, as you can see, some of it is closed. But we've never been on a ship this early, ever. Never in all my cruise history of 22 cruises have I ever been on a ship this early, like literally before 12. So this is my mother-in-law and she's been on I think four cruises already so anyway she enjoys it because she likes the buffet food she enjoys it the most <laughs> this is what cruise size pizza should be look at that other cruise pizza is so tiny it's like the size of like a box of gum best pizza at sea I guess all right well, let's start off with a bless you <laughs> all right here's our Balcony, kind of closer to the back of the ship, Port Canaveral. My car is like right there. And that's wonder of the seas out there. Here we are arriving at Ocean K, MSC's own private island. This is our second time here. Right? Yeah, second time that we've been here. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a nice bar there, get some drinks. You can even go up to that tower up there. Pretty nice. Last time we were here we got some umbrellas on that beach. That was for free. 
three, which I don't see anymore unless they haven't opened them. And I think in the back there we see those like, food trucks. They're free. Now, if you go on the rest of the island back there, then um, I know you have to pay for the rental of equipment, whether it be chairs or umbrellas and stuff. Alright, we have arrived here at Ocean Cays. I stated before we finally got off the ship. Now we're walking on the island. We're gonna find a place to kind of just sit down with some shade and enjoy the little beach area that we have here. So we're here all day, all the way to actually tomorrow, 12 noon, I think. So um, so we'll be here for a while. So I'll get some footage of the beach and everything and highlights. So far, everything's really nice here. We've been here a couple times, so it's really nice. It's my ship back there. Oh, you can't barely see it, but it's back there. All right, we'll catch y'all later. Find anything? That barracuda still out there? Yeah? Why do you make friends with it? No. No? No petty, they're very pettable. <laughs> Alright, so those of you who have never come here, it's very simple. Obviously when the ship docks, there's gonna be an entrance over there. You come around and then you get uh, right here. Now, if you come early, you get some good seats and you get some free umbrellas around the back part. They're closed right now. If you get early, they're free. So, but uh, come later on, they might be already full and then you have to pay for all the umbrellas that might not be free. So. If my son comes out of here.
the sun should be coming. I think he's already on it. Look at that. He's already coming, spinning around. Not sure which way he's going to come out. Let's see which one it is. There it is. That's super fast or what? There it goes. Ocean K, nighttime. It's actually darker than what it really is. It's just the camera picks up every light. That's how it looks at night. Never been here at night. Uh, this is another part of Ocean K. This is more in the back part. We have different areas. So this one is like a little lagoon area. All right, so this is the other part of the Ocean Caves I was showing before in the other video. So you come here, you can kind of rent cabanas, which I'm going to show you is run right here. You can rent these cabanas, but they cost a lot, a lot of money. And um, I don't suggest it because it's, might as well just come out here, plop on the sand, enjoy everything out there just fine, you see? I mean, when you go on vacation, it's to catch sun, right? Not that I need any, I'm already naturally tan. But still, you know, those who want to enjoy a little bit of uh, you know, vacation and tan, just go out there and get burned, fried up. That's what it's all about, right? But anyway, it's pretty nice here. If you guys can see, I'll kind of just turn around. So it's pretty nice here. I'm just kind of here hanging out with my son. He's out there doing his swimming thing. So uh, he's trying to swim to the, some middle thing there. I don't know what it is. So, but anyway, here we go. Shit. What do you think, sir? Did you have fun out there? Yeah? Okay. Don't seem too thrilled, huh? Uh oh, crosswalk, crosswalk. Oh no, we're going backwards.
yakin'. Here we are in Costa Maya, Mexico. Here with my son, my wife, and my mother-in-law. Having a good time. Some half coronas. Coronitas is what they call them. But they're still good. But anyway, they bring you this bucket. Got some food, it's all good. Having a good time, I don't know if you can see back there. Nice beach area, relaxing, having a good time. This is where we always come to when we go to Costa Maya, we just come to this place called the Crazy Lobster. Always very good service, good prices, good amenities. Right on the other side, you get like free kayaking and these floaties and stuff. So I recommend coming to this place. It's really, really good. Service is great. Very, very good. You will not be disappointed, that's for sure. Uh, these are the Okay, guys, muchas gracias. That was hotel. In your caladas. Thank you for the request. That was great. Pretty big. Thank you. That's my Mexican nice. Korean version. I hope it's good. This is how we do a FaceTime when we're on vacation. FaceTime and the girls back home. <laughs> Showing them everything that's back there. That. Good stuff. Going back to the ship. Ours is right here. And we came from there. Actually, we were down there in Mahawala, down there. All right, so now we are arriving at Cosmo, Mexico, we already shipped out over Royal Caribbean, I think it's a lore of the seas. They were also in Costa Maya with us yesterday. But anyway, I always like to wake up early and just observe as we're sailing and we haven't docked yet, but I always like to record and just watch as we're sailing in and then getting docked, which is right there. You can see the dock right there. That's where we're going to be. We always have a great time every time we come here to Cosmo, Mexico. You can actually take some of that orange ship or boat there across the mainland out there to play uh, the Camden, which we've never been there before, but you still have the option to do that.
The ship is moving so much that even the decorative stuff is swinging back and forth. Fun, fun, fun.